We are five young people from Bradford who, at the moment, receive a government grant of up to £30 a week to help towards our education costs. But the Education Maintenance Allowance, or EMA, will be scrapped. From January this year, it was no longer available to new applicants and from September 2011, it stops for everyone. 600,000 16 to 18 year olds will be affected, the majority of whom are from low income families. Students have recently been protesting all over the country. But what do the people of our hometown think about the EMA cuts? We went into Bradford City Centre to find out. EMA cuts affected me. I can't make it into college every day now. Um, I assume it'll do the same for other people. It used to buy me food and my travel to college three days a week. I can't get that anymore. Some days I might have to go without eating or go without coming to college at all because, because it's been scrapped. I think it's good. I think it'll just give people who've just been going to college or to school or whatever and just signing in so that they get their EMA actually motivate them to do something and actually get themselves out there and get a job. There is a select minority who do go to college for EMA but the majority go for their education. People are going further afield now to college to do what they want to do and it's that that's going to affect people getting there so you're going to get more people dropping out and then having to sign on so it's not going to really benefit the youngsters if you know what I mean. One young person who receives EMA is Natasha who no longer lives at home. For the past nine months, she has been living in a shared flat here at Bradford Foyer. When the money runs out, there is no bank of mum and dad to bail her out. Natasha has to manage her budget herself and she relies on the EMA for her everyday needs. I used to be really bad with money. It's like when I was in school and I got EMA and I was like living at home, it, it was like just so easy to spend it in a day. But it's like, now I live on my own, I'm just like, right, I have to spend like this today and I can't spend anything else, otherwise we're not going to have anything. Natasha shows us where her £30 a week goes. I spend it to get the bus a lot because I travel up to Cottingley a lot and that's, that costs quite a bit. Travel for a student is our biggest expense. A student travel card from Bradford costs £129 a term. That's around £13 a week. Hiya, well, what can I get you? Just buying a sandwich and a drink at £2.50 a day costs £12.50 a week. Even trying to cook costs by making a packed lunch still adds up to around a fiver. Materials for college cost quite a bit each week. Natasha needs to buy stationery like notepads, pens and files as well as books for her courses. The costings for this works out at £6.50 a week. Natasha's mobile is an essential part of her life and she needs to keep in contact with college staff and support workers. So that's another £5 a week. Plus occasional internet access, photocopying and postage can easily take another couple of pounds a week. I think they should observe more of who they give it to and how much they give them. Because it's like, in, in my case, I get 30 and that, that's fine, I get by on that. But it's like, people who tend to abuse it, like, they'll go out and just spend it on anything, like clothes and cinema. And they're not using it for stuff like they actually need, like resources and everything. So I think they need to assess people and like their lifestyles before they give them money. Natasha will now have to find a job to cover her daily expenses. She does want to continue her education, but she's worried about how she could support herself. I'm hoping to either be in college or be in uni next year. That means looking even harder for a part-time job. So like literally all my spare time looking for a part-time job. The minimum wage for someone 16 to 18 is £3.69 an hour. So young people will now have to work eight hours a week just to cover what they have lost in EMA. I got made redundant from my last job and that was almost a year ago and I've had one interview. Nowhere's hiring because of the cuts as it is. So it's just making things harder. With the EMA cuts, Natasha has the dilemma which many students now face. Do we quit our education and try find a job in this global recession?